If you've opened up the AMD control panel recently, you've probably seen this HyperRX option that you can enable. You'd think it increases performance, but I found under most circumstances you actually lose FPS. As you can see here in Horizon 5, we have HyperRX turned on on the right hand side, and we have it turned off on the left. We're running the medium preset at 900p and 30 watts on both. We ended up getting 79 FPS without it and 72 FPS with it on, losing about 9% performance. Then on Skyrim running these same settings, we see we got 87 FPS with it off and only 79 FPS with it on, resulting in about a 9% performance loss as well. Then on Crisis, we see an even bigger gap getting 85 FPS with it off and only 75 FPS with it on, resulting in about a 12% performance loss. The reason we're losing performance is because of the options HyperRX enables when you turn it on. It's enabling Radon Super Resolution, Radon Anti-Lag, and Radon Boost. The one that's causing us the biggest performance hit though is Radon Super Resolution. Radon Super Resolution is pretty great, it upscales the image if you're below native resolution, so on the Ally that would be something below 1080p. And let's take a quick look at the performance and the visuals of having it on versus off and 1080p. So here in Forza Horizon 5 we have 900p with RSR off on the left, we have 900p with RSR on in the middle, and then 1080p on the right with nothing on just the native 1080p resolution. As you can see on the left we ended up getting around 79 FPS with just 900p by itself. Then we lost some FPS with RSR on at 900p in the middle getting 73 FPS and 1080p has an even bigger performance hit only getting us 63 FPS. But let's take a look at what RSR is doing and why it could be worth enabling. I'm freezing it here so we can zoom in and take a look at the clarity of each. At 200% we can see the text is a bit blurrier on the license plate on the left with 900p, then the middle one with RSR on and the right with 1080p are looking extremely close. We'll zoom in to 400%. Now we can see more clearly when we only have 900p on the left, it's a bit blurrier. And 900p with RSR and 1080p are looking pretty sharp, but if you look at the license plate and the text at the very bottom, it looks a little bit clearer on 1080p to me. However, if we compare 900p in the middle with RSR to the left side, which is just 900p, we're losing about 7%. So you get a bit more FPS staying with just 900p. Then with Skyrim, we see similar Similar results getting around 87 FPS at 900p, 81 at 900p with RSR, and then 69 FPS with 1080p on the right hand side. So a pretty great result with RSR considering it's really close to the quality of 1080p. However, on Crisis we're losing almost 12% at 900p just by turning RSR on. And this will vary from game to game so the results aren't consistent. It's still a lot better than the 62 FPS we get at native 1080p, but this shows how we're always getting a performance hit when using lower resolutions with RSR on or HyperRx since it enables it automatically. The second thing that's enabled with HyperRx is something called anti-lag. This is designed to reduce system latency and make the controls feel more responsive. I've tried running this off and on and haven't noticed much difference or improvement in how responsive the controls feel. And while this has come a long way in the stuttering department, it's still not perfect. One of the games that used to stutter a lot with this enabled was Forza Horizon 4. Here you can see it has improved a lot, but has slightly more small stutters that cause the 1% and 0.1% to drop slightly. On Metro Exodus, we can see there is a bit more stuttering going on with anti-lag on on the right side. This stuttering would be noticeable while playing, and that's why I personally leave anti-lag off. In some games, it could work without issue, but in other games, anti-lag can cause more severe stuttering. Last up, we have Radon Boost. This is designed to temporarily reduce the resolution when you're turning rapidly in game to maintain higher FPS. Only certain titles are supported with Radon Boost, so I'll have a link down in the description if you're wondering about a certain game. For this test, I loaded up Cyberpunk and tested out four different speed settings. Here at speed 3, if we go frame by frame, it's very hard to see the difference. If we zoom in on the railing, however, we can see that boost is working and it looks a bit more pixelated. And we're getting around 1-2 to two additional FPS, but nothing drastic like I was originally expecting. Here the sensitivity is upped even higher to make the camera pan even faster, and I'm still not seeing much difference. The FPS is around 1 FPS higher with it on. Upping the speed 
speed even more and it's still around 1 FPS more with radon boost with the visuals looking almost identical. For this last test I really ramped the speed up to see if there's a difference as we're spinning around and you can see the FPS is about 1 to 2 FPS higher so not much difference. I don't see any harm in leaving it on but I also don't see much of a benefit to having it on either. I personally like to stay away from things that process the image as much as possible as it can vary too much from game to game. What I'd suggest is using the default preset and then manually selecting the things you find important. Anti-lag is something I personally leave off as I don't notice much difference in latency and some games will stutter more because of it. Radon Super Resolution is a great setting for more FPS when compared to 1080p but loses performance when compared to just 900p by itself. There are also some games like Diablo 4 and Forza Horizon 5 that RSR won't work on unless you change your desktop resolution to 900p. The reason for this is those games are still running in windowed full screen mode instead of exclusive full screen mode. And with Radon Boost, I'm not noticing much difference, but it also doesn't seem to affect the game much at all if you wanted to use it. And if you do enjoy Hyper RX, then I say leave it on. It's an easy way to toggle the three options at once, and if you already like RSR, then you won't notice much difference. And if you're wanting the absolute highest and smoothest FPS, then Anti-Lag is not something you would want, nor is Radon Super Resolution, so Hyper RX really isn't an option. And if you do notice stuttering, the first thing I would try disabling is anti-lag and restarting the game to see if that goes away. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.